So, you know, if you really my friend, you gonna love that for me. And you gonna see me on the other side, okay? And that's just that. It's just on period. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got finished doing my client. I just got finished doing my client. I just got finished doing my client. Is that a phrase? I just got finished done with my client. No, it's not. I just got done with my client. I just got finished done with my client. We had a good time. Hey, look, chick chick. I'm tired, baby. I've been up since what? I've been up since eight. It's currently 8.43. At night. You always do online comments. No, no. We just had to stop this lesson. Yeah, but that was a reasonable one. Though. No. Mm -hmm. It was. No, you thought it was reasonable. Because it's the truth. It's not the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. It's not it's just, the truth. It's just not a, a truth that's a big deal to me. And it's not fair to throw out there either. It's just not. It's just it's like, like I said, it's just a truth that's not a big deal. Like. Okay, this is happening, y'all. So, we come in late last night, you know? We unpacking, we, you know what I'm saying, we getting ready, we getting, you know, the house is already clean. We was just unpacking and like, you know, clean, getting our stuff in order, right? So we go to bed and wake up to a peaceful home, right? <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, hmm, he like, what you thinking about? I'm like, I'm thinking we should swap sides. What? Sides of the bed. No, swap sides of the bed. I'm like, I think we should swap sides. He like, blank. Why? You already got the whole house. But did I say it like that? Did I do it like that? I was that? like... Or was it kind of like... No, he was like, what? Like, why? What? Why? And just like that. Why? Why? <laughs> and I was like, I'm confused. Facial expression and everything mattered. Yeah, your facial expression I, was like, why? I did not look disgusted for you. Yes, real. he did. Nah. He is not telling the truth. Nah. So I'm like, I was taken back. Because I'm like, wait, who the hell you think he talking to? <laughs> so, he like, why? And I'm like... He's like, you already had the whole house. I took that personal. I said, he's been, he been waiting for opportunity what? to say that. What? Nope. Wait, that? I'm not, wait. Yo, you gonna have your turn. Uh -huh. I said, he been waiting for an opportunity to say that. I just, it just felt, you, like you could just, you could just hear it in his tone. And so I was taken back on that because the only reason why I was thinking about swapping sides is because I already saw the keyboard was over there, the dead situation was over there. I was like, it's a lot going on over there. So I was like, hmm. I was in my brain thinking, 
let me give him the better side. I don't know if a light bulb switched in his head or what, but he was like, if you want the side, take the side. I said, no, it's cool. How we cool? I'm gonna keep my side, you keep your side, it's cool. It's how so I go in the room, it, it and in my brain, I'm thinking, no, it's cool. I'm gonna keep my side, you keep your side. He gonna tell me something. No, nah, you want the side, take the side. I don't want the side. I was just trying to be nice. He gonna go over to his side of the bed, go pick up the nightstand, and swap my nightstand with his nightstand. Stay, stay, and basically gonna be like, here, this is your side of the bed now since you're on the bed. This is why it's important to one, read the rules, and two, um, read the room, but also not assume. And I say not assume because you said the light bulb went off in my head. What? What light bulb went off in my head? Because in my mind, it was never that serious. So just like how... No, so no, no, you had your... Hold on. You had your... So look. So if it wasn't for... Damn, you almost made me lose train of thought. You did make me lose train of thought. And it wasn't like I was like... Like I said, it was nothing that I was really upset about. Like, never. So like, even like how you're explaining the story, how I said stuff, I didn't say it like that. Bro, you said it just like that. I didn't ain't say it nobody like say that. that. that and, a, like, and, a, and an irritating Ain't nobody tone say that you was angry or yeah. mad at me. I never said that. No, of course but not, you not was very, you mad, He but. was very snarky. And that was he was like waiting for the perfect opportunity to say whatever oh, to say, that was to, on his to, mind. To, to say, and to what say was that. on his mind was you already got the whole house. It's the truth. And it's like, oh, he been waiting to say that. Yeah. But, but it's you not something that But in the way he said it, it made it seem like so you the, already got the whole house. No, nah, so it's and it's, it's like it's the truth. Bro, I work from home. The second cool. bedroom is my workspace. And that's cool. Now he like you are and you got you got go. Oh, he said you got two workspaces. <laughs> and it's like, we're sharing the desk area. What are you talking about? It's just so happens I'm at home more than you are. Now, the hair room, you don't need get, to be get, up get, in there. Get your ass out of there. Get out. That ain't unless, shit. Get your ass out. But unless I'm cutting his hair. Uh -huh. Don't say that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I pull you up in there and cut your hair. Anyways, so yeah, that was the biggest thing. He don't want to give me credit where it's due. He knew it made more sense. But what like what's the light bulb though? Of me making it make more sense than your logic originally of saying, oh, you already got the whole house. No, I just, no, I just saying, there's, there's no, there's no, there, nah. there was no thought process saying that. Bullshit. That actually makes sense. Let me do that. Uh, but, so what made you go out of your way to make it happen? Then? If I told you it's my camera shut off, he don't want to get I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass. I didn't think about that shit. That's Bullshit. why I was to the assuming part. Like, I didn't, that wasn't it. So we're doing shrimp with some taco seasoning, mild seasoning. This is the mild seasoning. Right here. Ooh, it smells good too. I didn't smell it last time I used it. Ooh, that smells good. I like this, where you get this from? Um, Kroger's? Whole Foods. Maybe. And then this is the Mexican street style corner that we are gonna be using. Mexican right. style rice and street corn. So this is easy. All you gotta do is pop this baby in a microwave and but up, pop, 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 pop down. You want me to dice these onions? You can do whatever you want to do to the onions. I don't care. You can make them big, you can make them small. I like onions, so I eat them either which way. How the whole, I put the whole make, onion in. I'll make it, make them bigger. I ain't gonna completely dice. Okay. It feels good having a man that don't mind learning how to cook. First of all, so Oh, sorry. See, I can say I'm sorry. I'm a square girl. I don't think so. I just do shit. Mentally, no. All the real Scorpios know, man. Mentally, no. We say sorry for real. You know we that bullshit. It's just our the stereotype of a Scorpio. Y'all don't say sorry. Oh, the shrimp look good. Parchment paper. You know I only like brown parchment paper. Yeah. Damn well, I don't yeah, like no yeah, white parchment paper. Yeah, I was trying to take this down, man. 
always trying to take us down. And he gonna, he gonna fall into the system and buy some white parchment paper. Okay, all right, I see you, Chef Bernard. I did beard. <laughs> That's gonna be my last name too. <laughs> <laughs> my baby made some good street shrimp tacos. Street, street shrimp tacos. Street shrimp tacos. Yeah. You can put some of that on mine. Some um, queso. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot. Just like that, baby. Thank you. You did an awesome job. Shout out to Brandon for making bomb tacos. Okay. Chef Mm-hmm. super excited so now I'm really working on one room at a time so we did the hair studio right now we're working on the bedroom we're almost finished the bedroom um, we are gonna get a new platform bed a different platform basically I'm getting the same platform bed that I had when I was in New York we gonna utilize it in here because us sharing one closet in one dresser drawer is not like working so we need a platform bed that also has storage so i'm going to get the same exact bed that i that i had in new york because that was like so clutch and we're going to purchase it again <laughs> and put it in the room but we're almost done the room got some stuff for the uh work area the desk area that we are sharing i got some stuff for that and then oh i'm just so excited to show you guys like what we got going on so far with the room I feel like by next week we should be done with the room and then I can move on to the living room and then the dining area because we need like some bar stools, we need a coffee table which I'm thinking to do a DIY, we need a, a media stand, a media table, media console situation which I kind of already know which one we're going to go with. Um, I actually already know which one we're going to go with. So yeah, we just, a few more things before the place is complete because I'm excited to get back to my short form content. I'm ready to like record my reels and my TikTok videos and stuff, but I don't feel like confident in doing that right now being that the place is like half-assed, decorated or whatever. So yeah, so we got some stuff, some Amazon stuff. This looks like this is his title to his car. He's going to be really excited about that because he thought it got lost in the video. How you doing? Huh? Well, it's here now, so woohoo. Well, that's all I wanted. I'm about to get back into my zone. Huh? Um, no, but I'm going to. He's been getting on my ass about going to the gym because I keep complaining about how much like weight I've gained and like feeling uncomfortable and kind of feeling like like a, a little stuffed turkey. Cause y'all, I'm I'm only five foot one and I reached my heaviest ever. I'm 150 pounds, so you know I just feel a little uncomfortable. You know I feel a little thick, but um yeah, he's been getting my ass about going to the gym because tired of hearing me crying he's like just go to the gym now jay like he's right downstairs i have a whole bike in the living room he's like get on a bike in the morning and do some cardio oh yeah because i don't eat bad all i have to do is just burn more calories throughout the day so just being more active whether that's getting on my bike or taking a class a spin class or um going outside and going on a little jog get on the stairmaster downstairs you know something like that but Lifting some weights. You burn a lot of calories lifting weights. You know, since I'm already thick, you know what I'm saying? I'm thicker than a mother freaking snigger now. Cause before, y'all, I was I was looking at old vlogs of me and I was like, bro, you were so teeny. Like I ain't had no boobs, I ain't had no booty. I, I also ain't had no stomach and my back was flat. But it's okay. 
But now, I'm thicker than my fucking snicker. My head matched my body. Because before, my head, was like, my head was looking big. But now my head matched my body. And but basically, what I'm saying is, I done did my bulking season. Now, all I got to do is cut and tone. Cut and tone. Anyways, back to the packages and using my handy dandy tool. Y'all, this comes in clutch. It's linked in my Amazon storefront, by the way. Isn't she fresh? I never thought that you'll ever be. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't she lovely? Make that I'm super excited about. I need to reach out to these brands because it's going to my old apartment address and somebody lives in my old apartment. So when the delivery person, say for instance, God forbid, they're not paying attention to the name and they just paying attention to the unit number, they can put it underneath somebody else's locker. And I know it's a girl that lives in that unit. So I know she's not gonna wanna give me my stuff. I know she don't wanna take it. So I need to reach out to them and let them know. Can we update? my unit number because baby I need some of stuff. Oh we got some more lots of tame. Ooh. I haven't even created content with the, the the PR stuff that they got me originally so I need to hurry up and get on that. This daily hair serum keeps your hair protected and styled even on the most humid summer days. Oh yeah I'm gonna have to really test this on my natural hair on my leave out because baby luckily I just did my hair what, yesterday? I just did my hair yesterday. Yeah, we gonna test this out. A scalp massager. Every time I hear the word massager, I think of um, brown sugar, when she was like, it's not what you think. It's a massager from Brookstone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where does this go? <laughs> it's not what you think. It's a massager from Brookstone. Oh. Thank you. Shout out to Lassa Thank you so much. It Cosmetics, we love. We got a sleeping mask. I actually already have it. Okay, fine. We got nice little PR from It Cosmetics. So I have some more stuff from It Cosmetics that I can combine with this when, whenever I decide to do a video for them. Shout out to La Cetain and It Cosmetics. Thank you so much for the PR. So yeah, this is all of the other PR stuff that I got in the mail within the past couple of weeks. I put everything on this table so that way I can visually see, okay, what can I try today? You know, what can I incorporate into my content tomorrow? And I just want to be very much more intentional when it comes to working with these brands because I would love for all of this PR stuff to turn into paid collaborations. And I know that the only way that that's going to happen is if I put in that work. Yeah, honestly, Kendra, I've just decided to take things one step at a time. I feel like I, my mind just be like all over the place. I be trying to be here. I be trying to do this. YouTube, hair, getting clients, getting hair content, um, add a photo shoot over here, add a photo shoot over there. Like, I just feel like I've been like all over the place and I just need to narrow down and focus in on one or two things at a time. So I've decided to take a little hiatus from Instagram. I ain't really been on TikTok, but completely taking a hiatus from Instagram, TikTok, and just focus on my YouTube channel. Y'all, I've been doing YouTube for the past couple of years and the growth has been very much stagnant. And I know why. It's not that I lack creativity. It's not that I can't edit. It's not that I'm not talented. It stems from me not being consistent. and me not being consistent stems from insecurities honestly and just lack of trust within myself you know on my channel i feel like i have been making a lot of like empty promises and that when you do that it even in life in general when you do that when you say oh you're gonna do something and you don't do it you kind of like train your mind to 
really not like trust self like trust yourself trust your decisions you know um second guessing a lot of things overthinking a lot of things like i've just been in that space and i am so ready to break free from those shackles okay y'all it's crazy how i had made my last post on instagram a few weeks ago it was just a little dump of pictures and videos or whatever from the past couple of days and at the end i had posted a, a slide a post that said um Basically, I was just going on a social media hiatus, and I'll see you guys later. Y'all, why that night my Instagram got deleted? I woke up to my Instagram being deleted, and y'all, when I say my heart shattered, like, I was so hurt. I was so sad. I was so confused. I'm like, what? Why is my Instagram? Like, I just felt, because I had literally just posted a Reels, and that Reels made me dollars. So, I'm not trying to put, like, my business out there, but just think about that, like, like that's a source of income that's just gone like that and i'm like yo what happened y'all i was crying for days like i was so confused trying to figure out like what like i was like asking everybody like do you know how to get my instagram everybody kept referring me to like hackers and stuff that's gonna hack and then get the instagram back but you gotta pay them somebody quoted me five thousand dollars another person quoted me fifteen hundred somebody else quoted me a thousand and then somebody quoted me uh seven hundred dollars seven hundred fifty dollars and i was this close to paying somebody seven hundred and fifty dollars to get my instagram back because i was so desperate but i'm like naja you're supposed to be on a hiatus anyways so thankfully <laughs> thankfully i have a friend that lives in california and their boyfriend um works for meta as an engineer and was able to like submit a ticket for me and be like hey could you take a look at this because her instagram got deleted for my instagram got deleted for pretending to be a known figure like what what are you talking about so you know hey can you look at you know said like ask whoever in whatever department if they could look into it or whatever so long story short it took about a week a little less than a week actually for them to recover my instagram but y'all it's just so crazy how my camera has shut off but yeah that just was like so crazy but thankfully i was able to get it back and i went ahead and i meta verified my instagram account which i didn't want to do because y'all know what they say about people with blue checks. And you like, who is this person? Why this person got a blue check? But I did that because I did not want to go through that again. Like, they took my Instagram. They deleted my hard work. They took my Instagram now. My, not even my hard, my hard work, my memories, my, all my photos, my videos. Like, they took my Instagram now. It said permanently deleted. And I'm like, are you effing serious? Like, for... For it to be that easy for my job to be taken away from me on social media blew my mind. I said, oh my God. So I went ahead and I did the Meta Verify. So my government name is on Instagram now, which I do not like. <laughs> so I went ahead and I did the Meta Verify. Your girl got a blue check now. Your girl gonna pay for Instagram now every month because I ain't got time to be playing around with them folks. Like, I know other people, their Instagrams have gotten deleted a few times and they had to pay people to get their Instagram and back and stuff. I ain't got time to be playing money games with strangers, okay? I'm not about to be sitting here and paying random people. I'm not about to, that's just, that's just crazy to me. It's just, and it's just, it's just, to, it, to be honest, it's crazy how now all of a sudden I'm experiencing shit like that. So, to be honest, I've decided to take a step back from a lot of things. So, I'm taking a step back from social media, except YouTube, because I am focused on growing this YouTube channel, connecting more with my kindreds, and taking this channel to the next level, okay? But yeah, I've decided to take a step back from everything else. Oh, and my hair business. Like, I'm, I'm not taking a step back from that, because that's my other source of income, you know what I'm saying? But everything else, though, taking a step back. And I just know, I know that, I know the type of person that I am. And I'm just trying to be a better person. I'm trying to be a better Najee for Najee. I'm trying to become that woman. Y'all, next year I'll be 30. So I need to, you know, practice. I need to step more into that woman era. In order for me to do that, I have to take a step back from people because I'm like a known people pleaser. And people pleasers, tend to put other people before themselves which is why which is why they be so behind 
on stuff because they too busy focused on other stuff and making other people happy and doing stuff for other people and really just neglecting them themselves and needs what they need what they want so i've decided i need to take a step back from my friends i love my friends but y'all i need some time for myself i gotta focus on myself and my growth um so you know if you're really my friend you you gonna love that for me and you gonna see me on the other side okay and it's just that it's just on period but yeah let's get into the unboxing of what we got from amazon and i'm gonna show you guys what we did with the room so far Woo -hoo! Mm -hmm. guess who i ran into going downstairs i had to run back downstairs i had to get another package but guess who i ran into actually i didn't run into him actually he gonna call me tell me something where you going <laughs> <laughs> And I, Nobody in the house. Apparently, he saw me at the elevator, but he didn't know it was me. What'd you say? What you were doing? You were home. I so I take when I get off from work every day, I take the stairs upstairs and I walk. So I walked up the stairs and I was walking past. I'm like, I did hear humming. That is something she do. Maybe I should call her because she ain't tell me she was going no goddamn weird. So I'm like, you know what? Let me call and see where she's going or where she is. Then she want to play around and stuff. Tell me, you don't see me? <laughs> no, I don't see you. I'm, I'm in the house. You ain't here. Where you at? But she tried to come for me because I was being honest. I said, all I saw was ass. When I looked, it was real quick. <laughs> all I saw was ass. <laughs> But I just kept going because I'm like, I, I, I'm not thinking that's her. I'm going to just keep going. I mean, I see ass. I'm not about to go investigate because then I look guilty. You feel me? <laughs> you know you don't saying? recognize me from behind. But it was such a quick look. Such a quick look. There's no way I would have recognized that. I'm trying to figure out what you're looking for. But that's what I'm saying. I heard somebody behind me, if, but I ain't turning around If and I look and I'm like peeking like, oh, yeah, that's her. You feel me? Then it's like, all right. Man, you should know my shape, my back, my I mean, legs. I, I seen it. My head. But it was so, yeah, yeah. It was that. But it was so quick. I just, like I said, I, I can't even see it. You feel me? That's crazy. Man. Anyways. Because what if I would have been looking for real and it would have been somebody else? Oh, oh. Let me tell y'all about this, girl. Yeah, right. Let me tell y'all about this. Nah. When we first. When we first moved up in here, right? We, the first day, we like, no, I didn't. The first day, we moved, we, we were moving stuff in. We tabbed, we been busting it out. Like, we moved, we moved all in one day, right? Man, this, I got a little neighbor. I call her Big Booty Judy. I got a little neighbor. We done saw this girl every three times. And all three times that girl said nothing to me, and she always hi to Brandon. Mind you, we're together. Okay, twice. Mind you, we're together. Like we're walking together, but he's like behind me. She will walk past me and not say nothing to me, and she will be like hi to Brandon. The first time she did it, I let her slide. I was like, mm. I looked at her, so I was like, what the hell? She didn't say she didn't say nothing to me. She didn't see me. The second time she did it, I said. Who the hell you keep saying hi to? Or I said, who you who she keep saying hi to? Or who you keep saying hello to? Or hi to? Hey to? You know what? It may have been three times. It was three times. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. now I'm thinking about it. It may have been three It was three times. times. So the first time, time the, the first time we yeah. kikied about it. The second time, I was like, oh, this bitch, I be fucked up. The third time, I said, who you keep saying hi to? Has she said hello to you after that? Huh? Oh, you heard me. No, no, no. Has she spoken to you any time after that? Because that's just crazy. You see a man and a woman walking, you going to ignore the woman but say hi to her man or a man or the man. Because you just never know. Like, the hell? That was rude and crazy of her. But then, <laughs> comma the bitch. That same week, she was a little quiet over there. And I noticed there was a little note on her door that she was late for rent. I saw, that's why she kept saying hi. She was looking for somebody to pay her rent. And he not about to do that. I show is. 
I show is and I show did. <gasps> Baby! Where is my light? The light fixtures, the light sources. They were supposed to be delivered yesterday and it said delayed. And now I'm thinking that this is it. I, I knew this one, Nick, because I was like, this is kind of short. But. Did it say it was delivered today? Did you check? Did it still say delayed? <laughs> Don't ask that. <laughs> It's gonna be delivered today Did by 9 p.m. Is it a late DST person or is it like a flex driver? What's good? Anyways. Oh, you can get a shower now. Oh, you don't need me no more. Nope. Nope, I had my witness. I had my witness. That lady had me all the way after. I said. Anyways, that lady had me all the way after. She done lost her rabbit ass mind. I'm gonna need you when you get out of the shower because you gotta mount this stuff. Huh? They say use what you got to get what you want before what you got is gone. Ooh, it already came charged. Period, boo. What'd you say, baby? Huh? What'd I say, Brandon? What'd I say? You don't even know what I said. What'd I say? I said, ooh, it already came charged. See, you always, see. <laughs> I ain't gonna Let hold me you. find out. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought you said, because she, I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's, that's the shit. That's Remember, I told y'all, he be waiting for the perfect opportunity to say whatever be on his mind. But, I ain't say nothing you about me being in charge. But you can't. I said nothing about me being in charge. I be over here, and he be over here. He just be ready to come back with a comeback. But we just in the midst of popping shit, and then you hear charge like. So it's like, what you mean you in charge? Like, nah, fuck it. I be in charge sometimes, and you be in charge sometimes. I feel like our charge is. I feel like our charge is balanced. You be in charge sometimes, and I be in charge sometimes. <laughs> uh, I dead ass, that's all I heard. I'm like, I'm hearing you talk and I hear you in charge. So you just pop the shit too. I'm like, man, what? You and me and say you in charge. You get shot now. Anyways. Hey. Alright, let's take this to the bedroom. Okay, let's take this to the bedroom. The lighting in here is not the greatest, but we're working on it. We're definitely gonna fix that. But that's why we're just gonna add a lot of like light pieces, light fixtures in here to brighten the space up because it's like super dark and I don't like that for recording purposes. During the day, it's okay. No, actually during the day, it's even darker here because we only have this one little small window, which I don't understand. But we have this one little small window. So it's our only natural light source right in front of the keyboard. Um, but yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we did an accent wall. Kind of like how we did in the hair studio, but a little darker. And it came out so cute. And then we added these, um, what are they called? Moldings, like wall moldings onto the wall. And I'm like absolutely obsessed with this. Especially, I'm, my favorite part of the room is this little nook and cranny area, which is like our desk area. Obviously the desk looks a mess right now, but we about to tidy her up. We about to tidy her all the way up. But yeah, this is super cute. And um, but I'm contemplating, I don't, I'm contemplating painting this wall. I feel like the place would be, the room would be complete wall wise if we just took this and dragged it all the way to there. We can keep this way, but just take it all the way to there. I think that would make more sense, especially when I'm recording, cause like when I'm like recording from this angle, those two walls being different definitely throws me off. But when I'm recording from this angle, this just looks like super nice. But now I'm looking in the mirror and I can see that the wall is white. I'm like, maybe we need to paint that wall too and just leave this little corner white to make it look like its own little space or should we just paint the whole room what y'all think what y'all think i think we should just paint the whole room that's what i think and possibly just leave this area white and do something on the walls over here to make this its own little 
area or whatever i don't know but yeah so the place you know this is under construction but we about to pull her all the way together okay i'm loving the wall though yeah i'm loving it it just looks too good too good for us to not just drag it on throughout the rest of the room i'm just saying i need to record a little before and after on my phone franco <laughs> today actually and then the little desk area this corner is my favorite part of the room is so cute the uh, mounted desk is from Ikea the chair is from Target and then the DIY um, picture frame wall flower vase I just basically got a black frame from um, Amazon I took out the glass and then put the wall vase inside and then put some water in there and then did a DIY bouquet, like flower um, arrangement situation. That's gonna change obviously throughout as the season come and go, but that's like for our fall decor. And then the um, source light is also from Amazon. So we got Amazon, Amazon, Ikea. The little lamp over there is also from Amazon. The chairs from Target, our nice stands are from Amazon. The lights, Amazon. The the molding is also from Amazon. The mirror is from Ikea. And then the dresser, we actually ordered from Home Depot. The dresser is is a 412 dresser. It's a four drawer, it's a, it's a 12, I'm sorry. The dresser is a 12 drawer dresser, but it's still not enough. So we're gonna end up getting a new platform bed that has storage in it as well. So that way, you know, we can be good to go. And then today we're going to finish painting and mounting the TV. So yeah, the room is almost done, guys. This is my third time cutting his hair. Practice makes perfect, right? I need to watch some more YouTube videos so that way I can um, really pick up some new techniques and skills because I'm really just going based off of my head, but I need to watch some more videos. What you looking for? No. Oh. Well, I'm about to get myself together. Okay. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. Oh, y'all! Remember in like one of our last vlogs, we were talking about like, where is the Savage X Fenty? Savage X Fenty reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be on their PR list. And I was like, of course. So Savage sent me some pieces actually. This robe, oh my God, this robe feels so soft. The lounge said feels soft too, but this robe feels real soft. So I got this, what is this, cheetah or leopard? Cheetah? I got this cheetah print robe. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Love it. And then underneath, I'm wearing this like shorts bodysuit 
um, lounge set, which is like super cute. I absolutely love how it fits on me. It make me look snatched, okay? What stomach? What back? All that booty? Yeah. Ah, so cute. So shout out to Savage. Thank you so much for um, adding me to you guys' PR list because your girl was crying. Okay. And they sent me some more stuff too, but we're going fishing tomorrow. So I might wear the sweatsuit set tomorrow. You guys see that tomorrow. But as of right now, I'm about to go ahead and get dressed because we have to go to Home Depot, Walmart, um, I don't know, somewhere else. I'm gonna find somewhere else for us to go while we up. You know how I do. You know how I do. I'm here to take baby. <laughs> Two places. Huh? You feel me? Why we gotta go somewhere? Cuz. That one ain't make sense. Just gotta go somewhere. Target. Come on, what? My new comforter set. Don't worry, wait. We're almost done the room. We're about to be done the room tonight. We're gonna paint and put the TV up. Are we gonna be done with the room? Hell yeah. All we gotta do is paint and put the TV up. And then the comforter set. Still need bed frame. Well, the bed frame you're not gonna see regardless. It's gonna be a platform with drawers. I mean, nice. But I'm talking about for the most part, we're gonna be done with the room. Anyways, so I went ahead and I got this really cute, oh my God, matte collection came out with some um, lounge slash workout sets recently and y'all, it is the bomb.com. The other day, that, that gray like shorts and shirt set, I got from matte collection. But the only thing is, they said to size down on the bottoms because it's so stretchy. It is stretchy, but I definitely could have just like gotten my regular size. So in the shorts, I got an extra small. And the leggings too, I got in an extra small, but I really could have just gotten a small. And then the top, I got a small, when I really could have gotten a medium. But it is what it is, so that's what I'm gonna be throwing on today. Oh, and check me out, check me out. Now y'all Kendrick don't never do this. I don't never go and buy no damn sneakers, right? My little workout shoes, I'll just go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and hopefully I, I come across the Nike, you know what I'm saying, cute little shoes, which I did last year. I got these, let me show you my Nike workout shoes. Okay, so these Nike workout shoes, I actually think I got these from uh, Saks Off of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Not Saks Fifth, Saks Off of Fifth, or First Facts of Fifth. What's the, what's the other one? Not Saks Fifth, but Saks. There we go. Sex Office. Found these in Sex Office for like, I think 30 bucks or whatever. So I've been rocking these as my workout shoes for the longest. But I was like, I need some new workout shoes. Najee needs to go to the gym. So I decided to get these new babies. Aren't they cute? I was a little nervous because when online they look more brown than gray, but in person they look more gray, but Brandon said they fire, right? He said they tough. I didn't know they was tough. I was just like, oh, okay, you know, these are cute, whatever. He, I put them on, when I tried them on, when I took them out the box, he was like, them tough. I'm like, tough? He like, yeah, I'll wear them. I'll wear them just with some regular clothes. I said, oh, shit, let me find out I'm cool. Let me find out I'm hip. Let me find out I'm not auntie no more. Yesterday, he was like, you smell good. What'd you say? Amazing, real good. Mm, he said, what you got on? I said, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. That's what I said. All right. Outfit of the day is, shit. Yeah, outfit of the day is, this set fits so freaking good. Actually, I'm glad. I don't know if I'm like smaller today or what. I'm feeling a little slimmer today. The These leggings are in the extra small. Maybe I was just bloated the day that I tried them on. But the leggings are extra small and the top is a small. Then I have on my new little sneakers. And then these Amazon glasses. I don't know. They're a dupe of something. I don't know. But these are my Amazon glasses. They're so cute. I think they were like, for two of them, it was like $6.99. I mean, they're cute. You can't beat that. And then of course, 
my St. Perry bag. Come through with the come through, Perry. Period. And yeah, all I'm missing is a damn Apple Watch. <laughs> That's all I'm missing. You ready, baby? You wanna come too, Nala? Mm -hmm. Can Nala come? Yeah, she can come? Yeah, she can. Period. Like we're gonna be here enough. Last time we've been here was when we was doing the hair studio. I'm trying to be up in this for a week. <laughs> mind your business. Just mind your business. Just mind your business. I need to take a picture of this stuff. Cause people keep asking and I don't know what to say. So the reason why I didn't put the color, the exact color paint on underneath like posts and stuff is because I honestly don't know because the, the the paper chipped off of the paint bowl the paint being what's it called the paint bucket so now we're up in here and we're gonna have to finesse and create a color that's similar to the one in the room because we just we just DIY we created our own color with like four different colors y'all so we had to come back to Home Depot to get something similar somewhere don't you <laughs> yeah right exactly I mean, just it. Nah, you over there no nah. <laughs> hell no nah. that's your other no there's only one me in the house there's only one me in the house one you and one no nah, ain't no no nah. this your other boyfriend hell no nah. what you gonna do to me what you gonna do with <laughs> Yeah, right. The oh. hell? Oh, wait. Is that a wrong word? Is that a bad word? Oh, yeah, you can't use midget no more. What are you supposed to use? I don't know. Short people? Little person? Little people? I guess. That? But even still, what you gonna do? What you gonna I'm, I'm just joking. Oh, this one's cute. Yeah. This one. Oh, it's only $40. We need something that can go on. Oh, we need to, um... It is very different. I went to Halloween. It's like one of my, one of my, um, favorite holidays. Don't, to don't, tell, don't tell Grandma this, because I admit she asked us what we were doing for the holidays when I was there. What'd she say? I told her I didn't know yet, but I said that I know I asked you if you wanted to do a Christmas tree this year. She said, yeah. 
Well, you said yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, you know, got to talking about how like, you ain't come up on Christmas and stuff, but it's fine. It's okay. That's fun. Then I mentioned Halloween. I'm like, I don't know what we're doing for Halloween. She was like, mm-mm. It's because I didn't do Halloween or Christmas growing so up. She don't but do, I'm grown now, Grandma. That Halloween ain't, you know, that's the, devil, grown, that's the devil's holiday I'm right there. I'm grown now, Grandma, so I'm going to participate in Halloween and I'm going to participate in Christmas. Yeah, and God going to love me because I'm just getting dressed up. I'm not doing no ceremonies. I'm not doing no rituals, no spells. She, she, I'm just dressing up. She's not into the pagan, the pagan holidays and stuff. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it's the next day. I just got finished done with another client. I just got finished done with my client. Remember that, baby? <laughs> I just got finished done with my client. No, really. Um, but baby's been in the room. Not baby, he's not y'all baby. Brandon been in the room um, painting this morning. So we started painting last night after we came from Home Depot. We went to go grab some food and then we started painting last night. But the paint colors that we got was not given. It was given like sand dune vibes. It was given like modern pompous trees meets meets uh what's the damn trees oh yeah yeah it was given like modern pompous trees meets freaking florida palm trees vibes and i was like this is not cute it was given like those houses that be in panama it was giving that color vibe. I was like, this is not cute, baby. We gonna have to figure this out. So this morning when I was doing my client hair, he had went back to Home Depot, got the color that was similar to the color that we already had on the wall, because he finessed that color. That was a made up color. But we found a color that was super similar to that color and then like another white. So now he's in there painting right now. So I'm about to join him and we're about to finish the room. So excited, the mount to the TV came. So he's gonna also mount the TV too. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna change the bedding on the bed because we got new beddings from Target and yeah and then after that what we got we got the mount for the PlayStation that's coming in that we're gonna put behind the TV that should be here by tomorrow and then we get some lights for the TV because we want to put some lights behind the TV as well and then what else what else what else what else and then yeah, after that, that'll be like the main stuff. And then we'll add like cute little decorative pieces afterwards. But I really just wanted to like get the room, the foundation of the room done. So that way we can add our little decorative pieces. And then we're gonna move on to the living room and get some bar stools and then the dining room and then the kitchen. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be done with everything. Cause y'all know furnishing a house and decorating a house can get very pricey. So hopefully we can be done by his birthday, October, like mid-October, we should be able to be done with everything. This is what we got going on right now. We're still going with the stone. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, we didn't get up there yet. So this was the color. Oh my God, this is the color I was talking about. I was like, this is not cute. It's giving like, in comparison to this color this yeah, color the traditional, the traditional looks like that when you look in the mirror yeah. when you look in the mirror it looks the same so now when i'm taking a picture in the mirror i don't have to see that yellow stuff yeah. in the back it's not literally two tones yeah and then when you're recording from this angle yeah because that even like taking it. a picture you would see both tones yeah really. yeah so this is cute i'm excited for us to finish you're doing a great job, by the way. Yeah, for sure. Now I gotta match your, match your fly. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. match you. I'm gonna start over here in the corner and get in my groove. Cause this, yeah, I did this yesterday. And as y'all can see, it was a mess. So, let's get to work. What? Dun, 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 dun. 
You said drag it out. Okay. Rather than it being like sloshy. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then you blend it. And <laughs> I'm glad you put that thing right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you blend it <laughs> and then uh, just make sure you know you leave some white, some dark spots. The dark spots that come natural, but. The white. Yeah, but leave some, make sure you leave some whites. Cause there's plenty in there. You don't even have to do that shit. Well, I was just showing them. Oh, okay. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this about to eat. <laughs> Nala's four years old, y'all. Hi, Nala Pooh Bear. Hi, sugar boy. <laughs> My Brandon finishes up cleaning up the ceiling in there. Um, I'm gonna put these in my little pumpkin space. So I found these, I have, I don't know where I got these from originally, maybe like a grocery store or something. I don't know, but last year I found these in a grocery store and I quickly grabbed them because I was like, don't this smell so good? Like this stuff smells really good. I was like, don't this smell so good? And I look around, I'm like, oh wow. These things, and they last a very, 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 very long time. So I bought these um, last year, and I just put it in my bathroom. I had like two of them in my bathroom. So I went ahead and I got two more. Found these in Home Depot. I put one in the bathroom, and then I hang one in the kitchen. And then I found the long ones. I was like, oh, this would be so cute, like festive wise, being that it's like in transition to fall. I'll put this in my little pompous they so whatnot um and yeah this is, my room already smells good because of my dozier dossier um what is that like a oil scent stick thing diffuser <laughs> but this right here i'm just like absolutely obsessed with it because i love the smell of cinnamon anyways y'all it smells so good there we go Is it me or does this look like a little old lady wrapped in a blanket holding a broom? Well, this would be her wrapped in a blanket and I guess the broom would be in her mouth. Maybe I should have found a way to put the broom right here. Hold on. Cause I could like literally just do this. Well, you don't want it covered. Dang. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Charlie. Possibly. Like, so. And then not like that. What'd you think? Y'all didn't even see. That looks a little better. Looks a little creepy, but. Tis the season for the holiday seasons. Tis the season to be creepy. La 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 la. I had a 
dream I got everything I wanted Now what you think And if I'm being honest It might have been a nightmare To anyone who might care Thought I could fly So I stepped off the golden Nobody cried Nobody even noticed I saw them standing by there Kinda thought they might care I had a dream I got everything I wanted But when I wake up I see You with me And you say as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you Don't wanna lie here, but you can learn to Hey, if I could change the way that you see yourself You wouldn't wonder why you're here They don't deserve you